is such a big deal in this patch is that uh, with this patch we have an update to the stamina skills uh, in your champion points you'll see uh, that in uh, the main damage tree for the stamina is uh, in the blue constellation under the ritual and mighty. Now if you look at the tooltip for mighting, it increases your physical poison and disease damage. So everybody's been cranking all this stuff in here for uh, for stamina and up until the night of the Dark Brotherhood um, you were not getting a boost because your your all your stamina skills pretty much had nothing to do with the poison or disease. Uh, the only time you were getting disease was if you put poison you put on a on a weapon enchantment. So now with the with the stamina builds, uh, they've made changes to Nightblade. One of the Nightblade uh, uh, skills do um, disease damage, and the stamina Dragon Knights will do poison damage instead of flame. Flame remains in the realm of the uh, Magicka, and uh, so does the Nightblade have many uh, stam has many magicka based damage thing as well but all of the stamina things does uh, physical damage whatever it was before if it was magicka before or magic uh, or lifesteal that kind of thing uh, now the skills have been changed um, to be based on that were already based off of stamina they're now going to be doing making sure that these skills will do physical damage, disease damage, or poison damage. So that's basically the overview of what changes they've made to skills. If it's a stamina skill, it's going to do physical, disease, or poison. Bottom line. And um, any of the buffs or debuffs will have to do with physical, poison, or disease damage. What? Because what I'm really interested in for this little video is um, looking at some of the changes to weaponry. Um, if you can see here, instead now of having uh, just your weapon, there's also a third slot here where you can put in a poison. And this is something that you can make with alchemy. In the crown store, we're going to have um, available lethal poison. The test server does not tell me what uh, this is going to cost, but so it's up to you if you think that we're going to have buy to buy to win here going on because now. It's supposedly not as strong as your crafted poisons, but it can't be asked to deal with alchemy and you just want some poison you're in the field. You're probably in Cyrodiil, maybe. Um, you can always go here and buy the poison. I'm going to open this little box of crafting material uh, from the alchemist grate. Um, it should all be going right into my crafting bag, and you'll see the little icons there on the side. All this stuff going in my crafting bag. Now, I don't know what the limit is in the crafting bag. I guess we'll find out. Nothing in here. Okay, so, in the crafting bag, does not appear to have a limit see a limit for the crafting bag. So 
so now I have inventory. I'm going to go up here and purchase me some crown poison. Look at that. I get 80 for unknown amount. So lethal poison. Now we're rocking and rolling. So I go in my inventory and I want to slot some poison. So let's see what we've got. This is going to work. How will this work? New thing. Equip it. You have poison equip. Your light attack and your heavy attacks have a chance to consume a unit of poison and apply its effect. Weapon a chance are suppressed while poison is equipped and will not apply, apply their effects. Okay. Then, apparently, oh. It doesn't apply to uh, both weapons, just to the weapon that you've equipped it on. So, I can unequip it. Oh, it looks like I can split my stack. Right click, and I want to go 40. Split right in half. So now, I can equip poison on this weapon bar. I switch my weapon and equip poison on that weapon bar. Now this bow, um, let's read that all already, already. So this bow is saying it will deal 443 poison damage immediately and 52 poison damage per second for 10 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. And you will also see here where it says the thunderous volley enchantment. Now this is the enchantment that would normally be on the bow. It comes um, suppressed by equipping the poison. And so this is something I wanted to see if um, this is going to happen to every enchantment. So, let's read the patch notes about po the poison system. So, in the original patch, the poison making, uh, you can now use the alchemy system to create a wide variety of dangerous poison using new and existing regions mixed together in a new type of solvent called oils. These poisons can be equipped alongside wielded weapon sets and have a chance to be applied to your enemy during each heavy or light attack of the associated weapon. Poisons, unlike other equipped items, are consumed as they are applied. Poisons are also subject to dilution, with each effect becoming less potent as more effects are added. Oils are sourced from various deadly monsters throughout Tamriel. The new regions have been added to many creatures and monsters throughout Tamriel and create multiple new effects for both potions and poisons. While a weapon set has a poison equipped, any weapon enchantment on that weapon set are temporarily su suppressed. Master's weapons and Maelstrom weapons have their unique ability modifying effect suppressed while their stat bonus is not suppressed. Weapon tool tips have been updated to support poisons. When a poison is equipped, the weapon enchant and the charge will be suppressed and replaced by the poison description and count 